Uh, hello. Uh, so, so far we have discussed uh, initial value problems and then uh, some methods uh, both uh, single step and multi step methods to solve the initial value problems. Okay. So, then uh, we use them uh, to propose uh, something called predictor corrector methods. Okay. So, let us uh, proceed further with uh, something called boundary value problems. Right. So, before we proceed uh, for uh, uh, methods, so let us briefly uh, discuss what is a boundary value problem. Okay. So, we boundary value problems. Okay. So, we have y dash equals to f of x y and y of x 0 equals to y 0. So, this is initial value problem. Okay. So, we know very well that uh, a first order equation requires one condition to eliminate the arbitrary coefficient. Okay. So, now since we are proposing a boundary so, for a boundary we need uh, at least more than one point. right? So, for example, you consider a boundary. So, if you consider a domain A B, what is the boundary? Boundary of A B is A and B. So, these are the boundary points. Okay. So, therefore, we expect a kind of second order say this is the simplest time writing. So, then we need y of a is gamma 1 say y of b is gamma 2. Okay. So, this is called a two point boundary value problem. So, why do we say two point? Because the value is specified at two points. Okay. So, this is a two point boundary value problem. Okay. So, now what is our aim? to solve such a two point boundary value problems numerically. Okay. So, how do we solve them? Of course, by uh, uh, somehow we have to introduce uh, the numerical concept. right? So, how do we do it? Okay. So, how do we do it? We have differential equation. So, we have to convert this into difference equation. Now, the question how? How do we do this? By introducing finite differences. Okay. So, by introducing finite differences that means see I have uh, considered a simple case y double prime, but in general the, the differential equation may contain y prime y double prime etcetera. Okay. So, therefore, the task is find approximations for y prime, y double prime etcetera. Okay. So, how do we find approximations? So, consider the 
So, use Taylor series. Okay. So, this implies y dash of x okay. So, that means, we have obtained an approximation for uh, the first derivative. Okay. So, similarly, so call this one consider so then this implies is this will be uh, we have to write y of so the transfer uh, plus so we have got an approximation another approximation okay so, typically this is known as forward operator, this is backward. Okay. So, if we one would like to write at any grid point, okay. so if you would like to write at any grid point x i y dashed of x i which is this in terms of uh, h. So, this is y i plus 1 minus y i of course, plus order of h. So, this is a forward approximation. Okay. So, now let us proceed further. So, let us write down one more. So, this was our one. So, this was our 2. So, now our aim is to find approximations for first derivative. So, if you add them the first derivative gets killed. So, let us subtract. So, then we have on the left hand side this gets cancelled and this gets cancelled. So, this becomes h cube by uh, so this is 6. So, this is say this. So, this implies y dash of x is plus or oh, minus. Uh, so, this is minus h square ok. So, this is at a grid point
So, that means the earlier approximations for example, forward and this is backward. So, they are first order ok. Whereas, this approximation we have second order ok right. So, this is similarly uh, an exercise So, for example, so we have 1 and 2 by subtracting we got this suppose we add what happened. So, these two get cancelled ok. So, these two get cancelled. So, this plus this and uh, here we have twice and this becomes twice. So, one may get ok by h square so, this can be verified easily ok. So, if our uh, domain is this ok. So, this is x 0, say this is x uh, n ok. So, then I, I see for example, if one would like to use this uh, we can use. So, this correspondingly the data starts from y 0 and y n ok right. So, if we use i equals to 0, so then uh, we have y minus 1 which is beyond this right. So, that means in some sense star cannot be used at x equals to a and when I say cannot be used we will get back to this I, I did not mean literally we cannot use it ok. We can use it we get y minus 1 here when we use at x equals to a and when we use at x equals to b we get uh, y n plus 1 which is uh, the next uh, point ok. So, we will get back to this. So, that is not a big uh, issue ok. So, now other some exercises uh, you can try 4 y of x plus h this is uh, x plus 2 h minus So, this can be derived three y of y of x ok minus four y of So, this can be derived ok. So, these are some exercises accordingly y dashed uh, n say this is 4 ok. Also ok. So, for example, say suppose this is f of x is given ok uh, like this. So, 
So, one can compute for example, y dash at point 2. Okay. So, this can be obtained from consider uh, x 0 is 0. So, then this can be y 1 prime. So, y 1 prime for example, from here if we would like to compute y 1 prime. Okay. Uh, I am sorry not. Uh, so, for example, 0 0.6. So, that is x 1, x 2, x 3, y 3 prime. Okay. So, from here we get y 1 plus 3, uh, y 3 minus 4, 4 y 2 by 2 h. So, this was our y. So, one can uh, compute we get some value. So, that means, using uh, the values one can compute the derivatives. Okay. So, this is uh, an important uh, thing. So, having now introduced the finite differences, let us proceed uh, to solve at least uh, uh, one simple uh, boundary value problem. So, okay. so, let us try to attempt by replacing the derivatives uh, by corresponding uh, finite differences. Okay. So, a simple two point BVP. Okay. So, as I mentioned this is very simple and uh, say one can take, but let us take the simple case and y of 0 is alpha and y of 1 is beta. Okay. Suppose, this is a 1. Okay. So, this is very simple and then one can get the uh, solution very easily, but we have considered such a simple uh, problem just to ensure that uh, the corresponding numerical method really uh, can be implemented and then uh, yeah, for such a thing uh, one can get the analytical solution and one can really compute. So, I will switch over to the notation slightly. So, this is a x 0, x 1, x 2, so on, x n plus 1 is b. Earlier I said x n, but uh, so this is not a big issue. So, the number of points. Okay. Now, what was the let us use this approximation. Okay, right. So, this is the approximation we are trying to use accordingly 1 becomes, so 1 becomes Okay. N. Okay. So, so this is our corresponding finite difference replacement for the given differential equation. Okay. The case I equals to one involves y 0 equals to alpha 
and the case i equals to n involves y n plus 1 that is y of b of course, this is y of b y of a. So, I make a remark again uh, I have taken n plus 1 there uh, ok. Just a so, if you run star for say i equals to 1, we get y 0 minus 2 y 1 y 2 by h square equals to f 0 i equals 1 sorry f 1. Okay. So, this is i 1. Similarly, suppose i is 5. So, we get y 4 minus 2 y 5 y 6 so on so forth. Okay. So, that means, within the suppose for example, uh, take the case of uh, 0 and 1 and you one has to decide what is a suppose h is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 and we know the values here y of 0 is given alpha, y of 1 is given beta. So, what are the unknowns y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4. So, these are the unknowns. Okay. So, we have to uh, obtain okay, these unknowns. Okay. So, we have to obtain these uh, unknowns. right? So, that means, if we run i from 1 to i 1, 2, 3, 4, for i 1 this point is involved, but that is not given and for i 4 this point is involved, but that is given we will be left with a system for y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4. Okay. So, let us uh, try to put it in the system form. Okay. So, the further the star implies okay, where the structure of A okay, has to be decided. So, for a general case uh, one can write. Okay. So, I have given for example. So, if you run y y 0 is known. So, in the first equation we have coefficient of y 0 there is nothing because it is known then coefficient of y 1 is minus 2 and coefficient of y 2 is 1. Let us look for uh, i equals to 5 coefficient of y 4 is 1 y 5 is minus 2 y 6 is 1. That means, apart from the end the equations in the middle would contain 3 terms the equation at the end points contain two terms. Okay. So, one can expect for A so h square I am not uh, cross multiplying this will be the all our zeros similarly. Okay. So, this will be the corresponding matrix A. Why? I, I, I could explain again. Look for the first equation. So, the coefficient is coefficient of y 1 is minus 2 because the unknowns are these are the unknowns. Okay. So, coefficient of y 1 is minus 2, y 2 is 1. 
So, because this has to be multiplied by y 1, y 2, y 3, y n minus y n here. So, minus 2 times y 1 plus y 2, which we retain. Okay. So, similarly, similarly, uh, it is better to write down what is y in this case, y 1, y 2, actually to have a symmetry I have a given y n plus 1 as b. Okay. So, maybe I can add a remark here, if, if x 0 equals to a, x n equals to b, the unknowns will be y 1 or unknowns, because accordingly the h will, will change undoubtedly. Okay. So, this is the thing. Now, what will be f bar? Look at that. The first equation f 1 is known and y 0 is also known. So, y 0 by h square. So, for example, y 0 is alpha. So, alpha over h square is known. So, we can shift it. Similarly, to the last case, we know uh, the last entry y n plus 1, which is beta. So, beta by h square can be shifted. Okay. So, what will be our f bar? this will be f 1 minus alpha by h square f 2 f 3 f n minus 1 f n by sorry f n minus beta by h square. Okay? Because this for example, 5 this is the last point. Okay? So, then y 6 must be beta. Okay. So, we know uh, beta. So, that will be shifted beta by h square will be shifted. Okay. So, this is our system. Okay. So, I write it again. So, we have uh, a y bar equals to f bar, where a is 1 over h square 1 minus 2 0 and here 1 minus 2 1 0. Okay, here 1 minus 2 1 0 1 minus 2. Okay. Then f bar is f 1 minus alpha by h square f 2 f n minus 1 and transpose. Okay. So, call this is okay. now what is the feature of this T D? it is indeed a triangular system. Look at the entries. Okay. So, this is a triangular system and can be solved for a given f of x. Okay. So, I will get back to little later uh, how uh, this can be solved for a general uh, case. Okay. So, now let us uh, look at the scenario with an example before we generalize. Okay. So, the domain is uh, 
1 2 then say x0 is 1 x1 one is 0 0.5 x2 is so 1 1.5 x2 is 2 okay let us extend it 3 so x3 is 2.5 x4 is 3 okay so this is so that means the domain is 1 3 so x0 is 1 x1 one is 1.5 so accordingly h is 0 0.5 so accordingly y of 1 which is y 0 equals to minus 2 then y of 3 y 0 y 4 is 1. So, how many unknowns then left y 1 y 2 y 3 are the unknowns. Okay. So, these are the unknowns. So, now consider the discretization. Okay. So, we have this equation. So, we have to discretize this. So, if you discretize So, this is a discretized equation. Now, i equals 1. So, this will be y 2, y 1, y 0, um, h square. So, h is which is this ok. So, h square is so h square is two five ok. So, minus 3 plus into y 1 as x 1. Okay. So, then i equals 2. So, y 3, y 2, y 1, Okay. So, if you look at this our x 0 1 and x 4 was 3. So, in between x 3 were the points. So, y 0 is known to us. Okay y 0 minus 2 and y 4 1. So, if you look at this in the first equation, we have only 2 unknowns and again in the last equation y 4 is known only 2 and the middle of course. So, here to be determined. Okay. 
So, this has to be determined So, we can uh, simplify and put it in a, in a system. Okay. So, if you put it we get the system. So, let us uh, do it y 2 minus 2 y 1 plus y 0 y 0 minus 2 okay. then minus 0 0.25 3 plus x 1 was 1.5 by 2 into y 1 x 1 was 1.5 into h square goes there. Okay. So, this is then the second equation y 3 minus 2 y 2 plus y 1 minus x 2 x 2 was uh, uh, and uh, here x 2 2 h square then uh, y 4 y 4 we know that is 1 Okay. So, accordingly one can simplify we get ok. So, here uh, the coefficients of y 1 got changed because of our earlier equation y double f of x. Okay. But in this case we had a, uh, a part we had a part which is depending on y. Okay. So, therefore, naturally there will be a contribution. So, one cannot expect uh, uh, minus 2 and 1. So, here we get some coefficient some coefficient c 1 and y 2 coefficient is 1 okay. y 3 coefficient is 0 and similarly here y 1 coefficient 1 then here c 2 because y 2 has minus 2 and this part and c 3 is 1 and in the third equation uh, y 1 y 2 coefficient 1 and then this has c 3 and here we get f 1 f 2 some f 3. Okay, where so this this is the structure which is tridiagonal and uh, one can solve for okay so this is the scenario in general okay right but the question to be asked is very important how well are these see when we solve we are getting y 1 y 2 y 3 that means the solution at the grid points. Okay. How well this uh, is approximating uh, the, the true y of x. Okay. So, this is uh, an important question. Okay. So, it depends on the discretization scheme true it depends on the discretization scheme, but if you look at it we get a system and then we are trying to solve. Okay. So, let us uh, look a little more carefully into this matter. Okay. So, the question to be asked how well does say the approximate solution y bar m y 1 y 2 transpose approximate y of x. Okay. 
So, then uh, somebody would say well uh, we have discretized we have discretized y double prime by a scheme which behaves like this. So, therefore, the corresponding approximation must be of this order. Okay. Are you following? See these are at the grid points remember these are at the grid points y of x is the true solution. So, this is the vector notation I am using. Now, the question to be asked how well does this solution approximate the true solution? Then uh, immediate answer is well we have approximated y double by order uh, h square approximation therefore, the corresponding approximation uh, is this, but the reality is more complicated. The answer may be true, but the reality is complicated okay. because there exists error at each grid point. Okay. Why? What we are saying? So, take the case of uh, y double equals to f of x. The, the discretization we proposed uh, y i plus 1 f i. Okay. So, this is of second order. Right, but then when we get the system, we are saying y i double prime must agree with f i. Okay, so this is what we are saying. Okay, at each grid point. So that means uh, you take a y i which is computed from this, and then you ap you apply the corresponding. Uh, uh, second order approximation then we should get f i. Okay. So, this process is expected to give similar, but uh, it is not uh, so obvious. Okay. So, let us let us uh, look at this further. So, what was the question to be asked? error in the discrete values y 1 y n relative to the true solution y of x. So, what is the error. Okay. Immediate concern was immediate answer point wise error y i minus because at a grid point y i we know and it should have been y of x i. So, the difference will give you okay, right. right. So, let denote this by true. Okay. Then this vector, so this contain errors at each grid point. Okay. Naturally, because this is approximated and this is true and if you populate a vector, so this error vector contains errors at each grid point. Then what is our aim? To obtain a bound
on magnitude of this vector and show that it is this So, to obtain a bound on magnitude of this vector that is it is really like this. Okay. So, how do we do it? So, consider since this is a vector, so we have to consider some norm. So, this let us consider this max norm. Okay. What is this? This is nothing but the largest error over the interval because at each grid point, point wise error, and then you are taking the maximum. Okay. So, therefore, if this then point wise must be because we are taking uh, the maximum of. So, if the supnorm of the error vector E bar is this then definitely uh, the, the grids it is of this order because we are taking the the resultant is coming of this. Okay. So, then what are the other norms? Other norms, so there is one norm, so which is a uh, which is like this, and there is a two norm. Okay. So, one can refer uh, some standard books to know more about these one norms and two norms. Okay. So, now what is our next aim? Estimating the error in finite difference solution. How this is done? Step 1 local truncation error. Step 2 use stability to justify that the lower error is bounded. Bounded how? Bounded uh, in terms of uh, uh, local truncation error. Okay. So, that means, you have a finite difference approximation. So, now what is the local truncation error that is bringing in? Then, so that is the disturbance initially. How do you ensure that it is not getting magnified? So, therefore, you have to use stability aspects and conclude that the global error is not really bounded, okay. it is not getting magnified. Okay. So, let us look at the local truncation error. Okay. 
So, T i so we are replacing uh, the approximations by the exact then only we get the error. minus f of x i. Okay. So, now this is y double of x i minus because this approximation is subject to this right, because for y double we got this approximation and this is the error. Okay. Okay. But by what you of y dash of equals to f of x, we have this must be agreeing with this. Okay. So, we have T i okay. but of course, we, we do not know, but we, we believe that this is independent of h. Okay. So, the remark is though y 4 is unknown, it is independent of h and uh, fixed Okay. So, therefore, T i behaves like this, because this is fixed a constant which is independent of h therefore, the overall behaves like this. Okay. Right. So, let us define now T bar as a vector See, this is at a grid point, certainly at a grid point. So, T bar is vector containing T i, then what would happen? T bar is A true minus this, this implies is this. Okay. Now, Lower error. Okay. So, we have a y equals to f, this was our approximation, and then global error e bar was defined as this, then above we had a is f bar plus t bar. Okay. So, from subtracting these two, we get a this implies okay. So, this implies we know the matrix A. So, we can write it like this. Okay, at each grid point with boundary conditions E 0 is 0, E n plus 1 is 0, because we use the exact values at the boundaries. Okay. So, say 
So, this is same as difference equation for y i except f of x i is replaced by minus t of x i. Okay. So, this can be thought of as alpha can be thought of as e double prime x equals to minus uh, some tau of x as a uh, as a function. Okay. So, this can be thought of as in this interval where e of a equals to 0, e of b equals to 0. Okay. And tau x is 1 by 12 h square y 4 of x. Okay. So, say this is beta. Okay. Now, integrating beta two times, we get sometimes a b sometimes 1 0, but I, I want to show you just it is at the end points and this is of order this. Okay. So, this is uh, the global error. Okay. So, showing uh, this uh, global error as uh, order of uh, uh, h square is an essential task because it is not that we are getting as a result of the discretization. Also, you have at each grid point you have an error. Okay. So, then when you operate your uh, double derivative operator discretization operator. So, you, you get the corresponding thing agreeing to the function on the right hand side. Okay. But this is uh, with respect to the max norm we have this difference as the error vector and then using that really one can show that the global error is also of order h square. Okay. So, then uh, of course, uh, one has to show that the method is really uh, stable and then converging. So, we can uh, discuss uh, in the next lectures. Thank you.